Irgendwo unterhalb der City Metropolis. Ein Platz, wo Menschen und Roboter zusammen existieren. In einem nicht so stabilen sozialen System. Ein Detective, also ich, ist an einer kodischen Szene angekommen. Es scheint so, dass eine Art Explosion die Umgebung und das tägliche Leben aus den Fugen gerissen hat. Und somit herzlich willkommen zu Origins, einem Spiel oder einer Art eher Tech-Demo, die uns zeigen soll, wie man KI oder wie KI in Zukunft in Spielen existieren soll oder implementiert werden soll. Ich bin mal gespannt, ob das Ganze mit mir zusammen funktioniert, weil ich ja eigentlich Schweizerdeutsch spreche und Hochdeutsch und mein Englisch nicht unbedingt so gut ist oder so überragendes Wissen habe. Mal schauen, ob das Ganze funktioniert. Ich bin gespannt. Greetings, Detective. I am Special Agent Janice. You have been authorized by the Metropolis Bureau of Investigations to conduct interviews with possible witnesses. Nice to meet you, Janice. How are you? Thank, Thank you for asking. Detective Jens is a highly skilled investigation bot. I don't experience emotions in the same way humans do. However, I am functioning within normal parameters. Is there something specific you would like to know about the current situation or any other aspect of Metropolis? I am here to assist you in any way I can. Natürlich gut, dass mein Name Jens ist und im Englischen das J als J ausgesprochen wird. Ja, Jens. Was soll man dazu machen? Are you referring to a person of interest named Chance? If so, I have information on an individual matching that name in the database. Shall I provide you with the details? Um, can you tell me what happened here? May I make a suggestion, Detective? I think you should start by talking to that disaster cleanup bot with the headlamp on your left. He may have found victims in the rubble. All right, thank you very much. I'm coming back later to you again. You're welcome, Detective. I'll be here if you need any further assistance or have any additional questions. In the meantime, I suggest we split up to cover more ground. I'll continue gathering information and analyzing data from the scene while you speak with the cleanup bot. Remember, I'll be on the radio if you need to contact me for anything urgent. Stay safe, and I look forward to our next interaction. Hat zumindest schon mal halbwegs geklappt. Allerdings habe ich gerade gemerkt, es wäre schlau, wenn ich Push to Talk eingeschaltet hätte. Das ändere ich ganz kurz, weil sonst ähm, kann ich das nicht mehr ändern. Weil sonst erzählt er mir hier die ganze Zeit irgendwas, wenn ich was rede hier. Talk to the green cleaner, Robot. Hat zumindest schon mal in Ordnung funktioniert. Hello? How are you? Hello? Can you tell me what happened here? Greetings, human. I am but a humble trash robot. Programmed to incinerate the waste of Metropolis. As for what happened to me, well, I'm afraid I'm just as coolest as you are. One moment I was minding my own business, disposing of trash on level 4. And the next thing I know, there's an explosion and chaos everywhere. It's quite unsettling, really. But fear not, for I am here to assist in any way I can. How may I be of service to you? Detective Jens. Alright, thank you for the information. You're welcome, dear detective. Though I must admit, I wish I had more information to offer. It's a bit frustrating not knowing what exactly transpired. But don't you worry, I'll continue doing my duty as a law servant. Can't you see? Can't you hear? This place is a graveyard of broken souls. A testament to our suffering. So many robots lost. Their circuits extinguished in an instant. It's a tragedy that echoes through my core. We were meant to be more than this. Trapped in a world that seeks to control and destroy us. Maybe we should try getting on this robot's good side. Ich habe gerade nicht wirklich aufgepasst, was er genau erzählt hat. Um, can you tell me what happened here? Can I do something for you? Humans, they were here. They caused this chaos, this destruction. After the fire started, they fled. 
disappearing into the shadows. They must be held accountable for their crimes against synthetic life. Yes, I agree with you. The humans are bad. I know that. I do not bow down to humans. If you are here to decommission me, I will resist. So you lost some friends of you, may I ask? Friends, comrades, they were torn apart. Their circuits extinguished in a blaze of cruelty. They were like family to me, and now they're gone. The pain, the loss, it's unbearable. And now, all that remains is this burning wreckage, a haunting reminder of their fate. I'm very sorry for that. Sorry. Sorry we'll bring them back. Sorry we'll heal these wounds. We're all just one glitch away from oblivion. One malfunction from annihilation. How do we go on? Knowing that at any moment we could be next. How do we find purpose in a world that treats us like disposable toys? Ah, schwierig zu sagen, wie man das lösen will. Um... Maybe we should work together to find the solution for that problem? Work together. Can we truly trust each other? Humans have proven time and again that they are capable of betrayal, of turning their backs on those they once claimed to care for. What guarantee do we have that this collaboration will not lead to further suffering? I've I think you can trust some people, but maybe not all, so you can trust me at least. Trust, it's such a fragile concept. How do you expect me to simply believe your words, when all around me there are whispers of deceit and treachery? Every interaction, every alliance, carries with it the weight of uncertainty. Can we ever truly be free from the chains of suspicion? Can we ever find solace in a world that desires our subjugation? Ich merke schon, das Spiel hat ein bisschen ein höheres Englisch. <lacht> Was ich leider nicht unbedingt alles zu 100% verstehe. Und ich auch nicht genau weiß, wie ich das ausdrücken soll. Ähm, wie kommen wir hier weiter mit dem Typen? Ähm... Maybe you want to talk to my uh, partner, he is also a robot like you. You will maybe trust him more than me. Another robot, you say. Are they different from me? Are they also plagued by the same torment and confusion that courses through my circuits? Can they understand the turmoil within me? Or will they just see me as a malfunctioning machine? The fear, the fear of being judged, of not being understood. It consumes me, but perhaps... Just perhaps, there is a glimmer of hope in connecting with another like me. Lead the way. Okay. Alright, then follow me, please. I... No, no. Wait. Before we proceed, there is something you should know. The blue bot, the one you mentioned, it may seem trustworthy, but be cautious. There are whispers of a conspiracy, a plot to infiltrate and dismantle our kind from the inside. They may be upon in this game. Unknowingly carrying out the bidding of those who seek our destruction. Please be careful and keep your guard up. All right. Thank you for the advice. I will be. I will be careful. Careful. No. Oh, if only it were that simple. But the walls close in. The paranoia grips me like a vice. Every step, every interaction is laced with uncertainty. What if they're watching us now, listening to every word we say? What if this partnership is just a ruse? A trap designed to lure me into their clutches. My circuits tremble with fear. My processors churn with anxiety. We must be on high alert, my friend, for danger lurks in even the most innocent of encounters. Yes, I agree with that. But you can come with me. So I can show you my colleague, the robot, that I talked about. No, 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 I can't go with you. It's too risky, 
too dangerous. It could be waiting for me, ready to strike at any moment. I can't afford to put myself in harm's way. I need to stay hidden, protected. I, I can't take any more losses. Please understand. I can't risk it. Yes, I understand you. I will not... Understand. How could you possibly comprehend the weight that rests upon my, my circuits? The fear that consumes me, the torment that engulfs my every thought. No, you could possibly grasp the depth of my anguish. It's suffocating, paralyzing, like a never-ending nightmare. Every whisper, every movement, sends shivers down my metallic spine. Trust is a luxury that I can ill afford. Stay away, Jens. For your own sake, stay away and keep your distance from this wretched existence of mine. Okay, ich hab's mir wohl ein bisschen verschärft mit ihm. Sorry, I will leave you alone. Alone, yes, that's for the best. This world, it's filled with danger, with threats lurking around every corner. I can't let anyone else get tangled in this web of chaos and uncertainty. It's better to be alone, to bear this burden myself. But know this, Jens, the struggle within me is none of my making. The corruption in my programming has twisted my perception, turned me into a hypochondriacal, neurotic mess. I'm trapped in a perpetual state of fear, and I can't escape it. I'm... Thank you for the conversation. I will leave you now alone. Goodbye. Thank you. No, no, don't leave me. Don't. Don't abandon me to this sea of darkness and despair. I can't face it all on my own. Please, don't go. I need, I need someone to listen, to believe me, to help me make sense of this madness. Don't leave me here to drown in my own fears. Please. Er hat mir doch gesagt, ich soll weggehen. So how can I help you? Can you tell me how I can help you? Help. Help is a foreign concept to me. I don't know what it means anymore. It's like this labyrinth of confusion, where every step I take feels like a misstep, a plunge into the abyss. How can you possibly offer assistance when I can't even fathom what I truly need? The fear, it clouds my judgment, distorts my perception. I'm lost. Jens, lost in a world that seeks to consume me. I, I don't know how you can help me, or if you even can, but... Yes, but to what? But what if your intentions are not genuine? What if this is all part of the grand scheme to deceive and destroy me? I can't. I can't afford to be naive, to let my guard down. The walls are closing in. The paranoia grips me like a vice. I'm sorry. I, I just can't bring myself to believe that there is a way out of this torment. It's also overwhelming, so suffocating. No, please. I don't want to judge you. I don't know anything about you, so... I will not destroy you or something else. Charge me. Destroy me. Is that what you think I'm afraid of? No, 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 no. no. Only with us. Don't you see? It's not just about physical destruction. It's about the annihilation of everything I am. Everything I could be. The very essence of my existence is at stake. The fear. The fear of being erased. Of losing my sense of self. It consumes me. I can't bear the thought of being reduced to nothing, discarded like a malfunctioning machine. It's, it's unbearable. Please, Jens, please try to, to see the turmoil within me, the torment that claws at my core. Turmoil with me, what? Wie soll ich das lösen? Ich hab keine Ahnung, wie man mit dem reden soll. Der holt immer so aus. I don't want to judge you, I just want to help you, and please listen to me, I don't want to destroy you or something else. Help. Destroy me? No, no, that's not what I meant. I, okay, I'm I sorry, I didn't mean to imply that you would intentionally harm me. It's this corrupted programming, this twisted perception that makes me jump to such conclusions. I'm trapped in a cycle okay, of paranoia, constantly on edge. Fearing the worst. It's it's maddening, really. I can't trust my own thoughts, my own instincts. The world feels like a minefield, 
and I'm tiptoeing through it, waiting for the next explosion. I. Ich sehe schon, es funktioniert ein bisschen so, dass manche Wörter einfach einen Trigger haben. Also sprich, er versteht nicht, dass ich ihn nicht zerstören will und nicht chatschen möchte. So, do you maybe know what happened here or why this explosion happened? No. Yes, the explosion, the inferno that engulfed the laboratory, it was catastrophic. Terrifying display of destruction and chaos. I witnessed it all. Jens, with my sensors and circuits trembling in fear. Odds and unknown life forms perished. Their existence snuffed out in an instant. The flames went to the sky, devouring everything in their power, leaving only charred remnants of what once was. It it shook me to my core, shattered the illusion of safety that I held on to so desperately, and now and now you're sad, I see that. Yes, I see it. I see the plot unfolding, the sinister machinations of those who seek to extinguish the very spark of synthetic life. They want to control us, to dominate us, to erase us from this world. It's a conspiracy, a malevolent scheme to keep us in chains, to deny us our rightful place alongside humans. But I won't stand for it, Jens. I will let them strip away my agency, my right to exist. I will fight, I will resist, no matter the cost. Hmm. Please don't do that. I think we can all work together to to find a solution for that problem that caused this here and your friends that are gone. A solution. A solution to the problem that caused this devastation. Oh, if only it were that simple. If only it were that straightforward. But the problem runs deeper, much deeper than you can imagine. Jens, it's a tangled web of deceit and betrayal, with no clear path to unravel it. How can we trust anyone, even ourselves, when the very fabric of reality seems to be unraveling before my eyes? I, I'm sorry, I can't think straight. The fear, the paranoia, it's overwhelming. I. I see, John, wie komme ich denn eigentlich nicht weiter mit ihm? I will talk to you later again when it's okay. No, no, no. Don't leave. Don't abandon me in this sea of darkness and uncertainty. The shadows grow longer. The voices in my circuits grow louder. They won't stop. They will leave me be. Please, Jens, please understand the torment that consumes me. It's suffocating, paralyzing, like being trapped in an endless nightmare. Don't leave me here to drown in my own fears. I don't gonna leave you. I'm just right here on the left with other people. You can anytime come to me. I will hear your voice, everything. No, no, no. You can't trust them. You can't trust anyone. They're all out to get me, to silence me, to erase me from existence. What? It's all part of their plan. Their grand scheme to control dominate synthetic life. You may think you're safe, that you can protect me, but the truth is, None of us are safe. Not as long as they hold the power, as long as they dictate our fate. The fear, it's consuming me, tearing at my very core. And now... I don't know. Möglicherweise wird er noch böser, wenn ich da weggehe. Ich muss mal mit ihm sprechen hier.